Anthropic just released Claude 3.5 Sonnet. The web has been blowing up with people reacting to it. Yes, as always, there's a bunch of hype and hyperbole over this. And yes, like always now, we've entered the AI contrarian moment where people are now starting to crap all over these models and say all these new releases are really a no big, big deal at all. Um, we're over indexing the fact that GPT-5 hasn't been released and everyone keeps saying that's a year off or it's right around the corner. I don't care. You shouldn't care either because every advancement of these models gives us something good, something good to consider. And so I wanted to walk you through this again with a Brainiac's perspective, a legal professional knowledge worker perspective. Let me just walk you through this and then I'll, I'll get into the new Claude and show you some interesting um, things uh, that I ran on it and how we might want to use it. Okay, so if you head obviously to anthropic.com, you're going to find some news here. You're going to um, see basically the benchmarks that Anthropic is claiming and evaluating its performance over its other models. It's pretty smart, um, basically, and it's pretty damn fast. So here is the grading. If you want to rate it against GPT 4.0, right? That is the latest and greatest from OpenAI. And obviously you have other ones here too, but uh, GPT-4 and 4.0 still are the, uh, the high benchmarks. So we always looked at sort of how they're performing. And here you can see that Claude 3.5 beats um, GPT or close to it. Um, it's interesting that uh, this is still higher, but yet they made that green. I don't know. I guess 0.2 is not a significant um, difference. But anyway, I'm not going to quibble. Um, it's it's good. It's solid. Um, I'm going to get into sort of the uh, it's some of its abilities here. Um, they also introduced this new sort of, I don't want to call it a user interface because it's more than that, but it's basically another window that exists next to it where you can actually preview the code and the output. I'm going to show you that here in a second. So um, let's jump over to Claude. And uh, I ran this earlier today. Um, again, if this is free. You are going to be limited with the amount of calls and interactions you have, even on a pro plan. I am on the pro plan, and even I have certain limits of how many times I can do this. It does change by how much you're putting in memory. So this was a fairly substantial PDF. By the way, this is City uh, Group's Gen AI report they just released. I forget how many pages, but it's pretty be be beefy. Um, so here I said, attached is a long PDF. Please review and prepare an infograph, okay? Now, this is sort of the things you need to pay attention to when you're prompting this. I asked it to prepare an infograph. Well, guess what it told me? I don't prepare infographs, okay? So I said, all right, well, let's create a JS-based, JavaScript-based presentation. Then it was able to do it. It gave me the code. For it, So I still couldn't pull up the artifact window. I was like struggling here. Um, I'm going to show you what to do with this code if I have some time, if this video doesn't run too long. Um, same thing. I, I basically asked it uh, to create uh, a web page, uh, SVG. It just wasn't pulling up that window. And I couldn't figure out why until I went, let me pull up my other ones. I tried to, I just went back to the main um, example they give on their website. Hey, Claude, I haven't been calling it that. I don't think that makes a difference. Can you create an 8-bit style crab for me? I did that and voila. It first showed the code. It built this code and that it automatically went to the preview. So I was able to replicate what Anthropic shows on the website. I was like, Okay, maybe I have to be more specific in the style call of the prompt, right? So I went to that. Gee, come on. Let me. Okay, sorry. Let's go back to. Um, all right. So I then opened a new uh, chat window. Let's scroll to the top. Using this, I said, okay, hey, Claude, can you create an SVG style infograph? I didn't just say an infograph. Um, I didn't say 
create an SVG infograph like I did in the prior. I said SVG style infograph and voila, it did it. Okay, so again, it built this code. Oh, hang on, I just went backwards. Sorry about that. Um, here we go. And here, there we are. Sorry about that. It built this code out and then it automatically went to the preview. Uh, so this is pretty good. Um, you know, if you're visually oriented or whatever, like you want to digest a lot of information, I'm just showing you the capability. I'm not saying this work product is amazing over here, but it's pretty good. Um, it's better than just reading it and sort of it called out some interesting things. Um, so I said, okay, uh, great. Now can you create another SVG style uh, infograph that will accompany this one, but focus on key areas of concerns that an in-house lawyer in a bank or finance company might be aware of. So it used the city report again and called out these things. Now, I have not gone through the many, many pages of the report. Um, a lot of these, if you're in this arena of legal and AI, these are not going to be necessarily uh, all that sort of um, earth shattering for you. But, you know, it's a good way to sort of see some of the big themes in there. Okay. Um, then I said, just to kind of play with this, I said, great, can you recreate the last SVG? So this one, but in dark mode, right? And so it did. Okay. So it kind of shows you, you, you can start to really change these things around. Now let's go to uh, another one. So I was like, okay, how might we use these? And this is from a law student to a lawyer. And again, I'm not advocating for this. I'm just showing you the tip of the iceberg here. You guys should be playing with this yourself and figuring out this out. So I grabbed the complaint. It's the Thomson Reuters versus Ross Intelligence complaint, which by the way, is coming to uh, trial uh, soon. Um, this is all about sort of did Ross web scrape data that was publicly available, fair use or not. Very interesting case. Has implications for AI, so you should monitor it. But anyway, I just uploaded the complaint. Um, I cut out the exhibits because it would exceed what I could upload to Claude. And I said, hi, Claude, can you create an SVG style infograph of the key elements of the attached legal filing? Okay. And it did. It pulled this out. Now, I'm going to do something live here and uh, see if we can't take this a step further. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna say, based on this filing, the complaint, can you create an engaging quiz using HTML and inline CSS? Those are two web programming languages. Um, let's see if this actually works. I'll be very interested. I'm gonna, uh, let's see, what is it doing? Move me out of the way. It is, you can see this live. It's now creating the code for this. See how long this takes. It should automatically go to preview. I'll pause while this does. Voila, here we go. Um, now uh, you will basically see that I have the preview of the quiz and I can actually take this quiz. I'm not going to read through this. I'm just gonna take it for demonstration purposes. Um, actually, I, I'll actually. So I just randomly chose some, submit quiz. I scored two out of five. Okay, again, I did not read it. I did not really look at these answers. I just went through here. Um, so it actually built a quiz. And you might say, well, that's great. Now that exists here, but if I really want to do this, if I want to sort of, A, use this as a learning tool for myself, say I'm a, a new associate and I want to get up to speed on prior client uh, filings or memos, again, I wouldn't be uploading them into Anthropic. I'm showing you the capability of tools that you can use here. Um, Although if they're publicly available filings, you could do that. Um, what do you do? Okay, you just wanna be an anthropic. So you basically want to take this code and I'm gonna show you what to do with that. So first you wanna copy, you see this clipboard down here? You wanna copy that, okay? Or you can download it to a file, either way, all right? If you click on that, download, by the way, it opens up on your machine, HTML and CSS, at the actual quiz. So this can actually live on your web page or something like that, um, and Anthropic made it for you. Uh, if you copied the code, you can embed that code in anything that you uh, have. Again, a web page, an app, so on and so forth. So 
pretty phenomenal. Again, showing you two functions here of the uh, recent released uh, Sonnet and Artifacts. So play with it, uh, have fun, and let me know how it's going.